All right, so the charging of the included battery, the 4003S that came with the Ready to Fly, when we charged it with the included Spectrum S120 smart charger, it took quite a while to charge. Uh, so you're going to want more than one battery to fly if it's going to take that long to charge. Uh, and you're only going to get maybe a 6 to 10 minute flight uh, on average normally. So you're probably going to want to purchase an additional battery fairly soon. But you may also want to consider purchasing maybe an upgraded charger. Uh, the S150 Spectrum Smart Charger is an AC or DC powered unit. It comes with an AC adapter uh, that'll plug right into the charger and then plug into the wall. And this one is also capable of charging four cell batteries in addition to the three cell. So at some point you're going to want to upgrade and get an additional battery, but you may also want to consider getting a four cell battery to get improved performance. So let's see what happens with this S150 charger. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the AC. Okay, you saw all of the lights light up there. And it may be a little hard to see, but there are actually two white lights that are on. One is next to the LiPo, which is the lithium polymer type battery type on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, the 3 amp charge rate is highlighted. Now if you push this, bat this button down at the bottom and hold it, it'll change the battery style on the left. So I've got it down to nickel metal hydride. And if you push the button briefly, it changes the charge rate. So I've got the charge rate down to half an amp. And I've got it on the wrong type of battery. But remember, this is a smart charger. So I'm going to plug this charger into our smart 4000 milliamp hour 3 cell battery that came with our ready to fly. And let's see what happens. I'm going to plug in the balance plug and the battery plug. All right. It changed to LiPo battery, so the white light on the left is lit next to LiPo. And it's still showing the 0.5 charge rate down at the bottom. But you also see the bar, the bottom bar is lit continuous. The next one up above it is blinking. So that's indicating that it is charging and that the battery has about a 25 to 30% charge rate on it now. And as the charge progresses, the lights that are solid will tell us how much charge it's got and how much longer it's going to take, basically. But I'm going to go ahead and charge, change the charge rate also. Uh, this battery is capable of being charged at a 4 amp rate. And actually, it's good for up to a 12 amp charge rate. So for this particular charge, I'm going to go ahead and change it to a 3 amp charge rate. All right, now let's see if it starts blinking again once it's got that. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to charge at 3 amps. So let's see how long this is going to take to charge this 4,000 milliamp hour battery at a 3 amp charge rate with this S150 upgrade charger. Now, the nice thing about this charger is it's fairly inexpensive. It's $29.99 right now on the Horizon site. So, you know, half the price of a battery, maybe less, uh, you can uh, get this upgraded charger. But let's see how long it's going to take to charge first. All right, we'll come back as soon as we get a little better charge on here. Okay, we've been charging about 10 minutes, and we have two lights solid, and the third light is blinking. All right, we've been charging about 30 minutes. We have three solid green, and the top one is flashing. So about 30 minutes of charge. Okay, that's 43 minutes, and it's fully charged. 
you can see that all four of the green lights are solid and it's giving us that two tone beep uh, letting us know it's fully charged so 43 minutes is a lot quicker charge than five hours and 45 minutes on the USB charger so I would think that uh, in addition to getting another battery you're probably going to want to get uh, this upgraded charger so here's another option the Spectrum S1100 Smart Charger is an AC powered charger capable of charging up to 6S battery packs. It's rated for 100 watts, but it also gives you a lot more options. Let's plug it in and see. Alright, it's saying there's no battery plugged in. So let's go ahead and plug in our 4000 milliamp hour 3S battery that came with the ready to fly Habu. We're we'll plug in the power lead and it says insert balance lead. So it's warning us to insert the balance lead. Let's put it in. And it has to be biased off to the left here. Okay. So as soon as we plug that in, it immediately goes to charging the battery. Alright, so let's zoom in. And it's saying that the battery is about 40 percent charged right now so it's at a storage charge the charge rate it automatically set at 3.9 amps and over here on the right is another interesting uh, piece of information in a minute it's going to be able to give us a time estimate well there it is 33 minutes it says it's going to take approximately 33 minutes to fully charge this battery but I'm going to go ahead and stop the charge for a minute here. And let's look at some of the other things that are available on this smart charger. So if we look at the menu here, it automatically sets the charge rate. But if you wanted to adjust the charge rate, you could uh, do a charge, a discharge, or a storage charge to start with. It sets the battery type. You can set the battery type if you wanted to charge some other type of battery. Number of cells. But let's look at the smart battery settings. That's where we're going to get into some good information here. Alright, so this gives us the information on this smart battery. Uh, the first line up there says auto storage. You can choose a time, number of hours, anywhere between 12 hours and 240 hours to set a time that your battery will automatically begin to self-discharge down to storage voltage. So if you've fully charged the battery and you don't fly it, it'll automatically self-discharge itself down to storage voltage after the set number of hours. Here you can see I've got mine set on 48 hours. You can also change your charge current like on this battery, it's a 4,000. It's defaulted to 4 amp charge rate, but it can be charged at up to 12 amps. Now, whether this charger will put that full amount out or not, I don't know, but you can adjust the amount uh, up or down. I choose to charge at a 1C rate, which is 4 amps. Now, once I've entered that, every time I plug this smart battery into this charger, or into another smart charger, it'll automatically go to that charge rate. That's stored within the battery. The charge voltage is going to charge it up to 4.2 volts. Storage voltage will discharge down to 3.8. And here's an interesting piece of information. Here is your battery history. It says this battery has gone through three charge discharge cycles. And the battery temperature right now is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. You can do a fault log. Here's the log of this particular battery. It says it has experienced zero faults. It has never been overcharged, it's never been over discharged, and it's never been over temp. But you can get all that history on your battery. Alright, so we've gone through the smart battery settings. Um, let's go back and begin the charge. So we're going to 
press and hold we're going to go to start and it's going to go ahead and initiate the charge again there it is 33 minutes all right we'll come back in 30 minutes or so and see how it's doing there it is it shows that we fully charged that battery in 25 minutes put in 1423 milliamp hours that's pretty darn good so the s1100 smart charger charged a little faster then the S150. Uh, the S150 we had set at 3 amps uh, and the S1100 was able to charge at 4 amps. The S150 is good for 3S and 4S batteries. Um, the S1100 is good for 1 to 6S batteries. And it gives you the opportunity to program in all of the parameters for the smart batteries. Uh, it is more expensive. This AC S1100 battery charger, smart charger, is about $89.99. So, you know, maybe three times the price of the S150, but with a lot more capabilities. So these chargers will give you some options. The one that's coming included with your ready to fly. Uh, very inexpensive upgrade and then a little more pricey upgrade but with a lot more capabilities so it's good to have options and these wonderful spectrum chargers are going to give you just that so now let's get back to building the Habu STS <laughs> 